Hello, hello. Today, I think we're going to continue a series that I've only done a couple of videos on, which is book reviews. I'm going to move into a slightly rarer book today, and hopefully I can zoom back a little bit and see what it is that I've been working on. That's me. If you can hear any additional noise that's going on at the background, it's it's a summer break and. Um, that's the period in which uh, the university decides to engage in bits of industry and fix and change its buildings. So we're having a new multi-million pound revamp of the sustainability education building. Uh, so if you can hear noise in the background, apologies, that's probably why. So today, I'm going to review for you very quickly and more of a skim over book called, if you can see it, Mervyn Kerno, uh, the story of Mervyn Kerno. Pi for Cornwall, and the really important bit of the title is down here by my finger. It says Celebrating 60 Years. So, this is a rare book because it's published by the political party itself, not a publisher. So, it's harder to find. It's not the kind of thing, unless you have access to the people in it, that you'll readily be able to get to. So, I thought a review and uh, the fact that you can see it is um, probably useful. So, yes, right on the inlay there, look. If you can read that. Published by Mary Pinkerno, addressed there, copyright of the party, and all credit to them. So, why is this an interesting book? For you who don't know, uh, Mary Pinkerno, which is the Cornish language words for Sons of Cornwall, was a political party started in 1951 in a hotel in Redruth, Cornwall. Uh, it's essentially a party for devolution, Cornish language, linguistic, and cultural rights. They want to bring in uh, devolved powers, something like the uh, as the Welsh Assembly had or has currently um, into Cornwall. Uh, it's not an independence movement, it is a federalist movement really within a wider United Kingdom. And yes, it's been going since 1951. And this book chronicles uh, the first 60 years basically of that development. Um, it followed on just after the International Family International Celtic Congress in 1950, if I remember rightly. And Yes, that's it. I thought I'd, I'd show you some of it. Um, it's also just a very nice book, because as you can imagine, if you're chronicling 60 years of history in something that thick, what it's got is a lot of really good and interesting pictures. So, on the front there, what you can see is, that is a picture of a march about a fishing protest coming out of Causeway Head um, in Penzance, going down to Market Dew Street and Green Market. And some of the signs say things like Cornish Stoll and Mackerel and uh, it's nice because if anyone that's been involved in the movement or lived in Cornwall might be able to spot some of the people in here that they know. So heavily pictorial, very fun book, quite descriptive. And it's laid out in uh, decades. So uh, we've got an intri introductory uh, section telling you about the history of the party, the initial founding of it. There you go, that's the very beginnings of the party in the hotel. Um, unlike a lot of parties. In the 1950s it was quite progressive in that it was founded by women as well as men, joint founding. And then the book moves on to sections where you're looking at the decade to 50s, 60s, then there's a whole section on the 70s. Um, it's got a lot of nice old campaign literature in it as well. So there's newspaper clippings, photos of individuals, campaign letters, stuff like that, which is, is really interesting. Um, Yes, as well as, uh, so the party runs a newsletter which is called Cornish Nathan, Nation, or Knethel Gnuwik, I say it back in Cornish, because of a lisp, there, so they've got clippings of that as well, some of the older members, um, so there's a picture of Dr James Wesser in his early years, uh, campaigns, protests that went on, details of them, some of the cartoons, because you used to get a lot of historical, political, sorry about that, slight battery failure. <laughs> Back again now. So, where were we? Yes, so the story of Megan Kerner, the part of the Cornwall, has lots of interesting pictures in it, and I was going to show you a few before. Uh, yes, it is it's got sections about um, decades, but also got thematic sections. So, okay, there's a bit about Cornish language. Um, they, they've got some lovely. You know, real nice spreads. I'll move back so you can see it. lots of campaign photos. Um, you know, there's parliamentary candidate Jane Willett. There's a campaign for, I think, probably the Truro parliamentary seat with Lord Rich, uh, Dick Cole in the middle. 
Conscious Family, just next to Joni. Um, moving over, we've got our books from Dr. Wetter and some of the historical stuff. I can't see too much more in the middle. Mr. Laurie. Um, community related things. Uh, it, it's all quite thematic, which is really, really good. It, you can relate it to things that existed um, throughout um, the history of the country as well. Um, one of the main campaign tools they had was a campaign for a Cornish Assembly, which had a 50,000 signatures collected and handed in within the Blair government period. Um, and I'll move to how it ends, really. So it's got a nice ending, too, I think. So the ending is... They've got some nice nice black and white photos of all the councillors they've had, county councillors, as you would call them if you used the C word, um, elected Cornwall Council. Then we've got some nice photos of the town and parish councillors, which is also very good. And then, you know, the, the parish that they're related to, yes, and the name. And the last bit, as you might expect from a political party related book, is manifesto, manifesto promises, pledges, etc. So you can see what the party stands for, its key campaigns and priorities, and um, that's it really, just uh, rounds it off with uh, supporting subscribers who helped pay for the publication, because it is actually quite nice, the paper's good, it's got a good glossy feel to it, it'll last, it's um, got a laminate front cover. There you go, front cover, back cover, another picture of the regional assembly campaign, for example. That's it. It does it does a good job of chronicling about sixty years of history in just under forty pages. So it's um yeah, it's a nice book and if you ever get a chance to look the copy if you're interested in um, nationalism in the UK, federal politics, uh, Cornish culture, history, language, etc., it might be interesting for you. Um that's it. I'm gonna end this by turning the light off and see if I can look like a Bond villain. <laughs>